uh, good morning. My name is Dr. S. K. Charya. I am an Emeritus Professor of Gastroenterology uh, at the All India Institute of Medical New, uh, New Delhi as well as Co-Chancellor at University at Bhuvaneswar, Odisha. And I have a very pleasant job to introduce you to one of the eminent experts in gastroenterology in the Asia-Pacific region as well as globally, very well known, Dr. Jan Robert Thompson, Professor of Gastroenterology from uh, Adelaide, Australia. Welcome, sir, Thank to you. this interview. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And uh, Dr. Thompson is the uh, 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 JGHF, that is Gas Journal of Gastroenterology Hepatology Foundations, a member. Uh, you are the president? Ch well, uh, the chairman. The chairman. Uh, you are the chairman of the JGH Foundation. And all of, our, all of us are aware that JGH is the leading uh, gastroenterology journal, which is the official journal of uh, Asia Pacific Digestive uh, Associations and uh, has been publishing extensively during the last three decades. And uh, in fact, it was a pleasure that I was once upon a time the section editor of Hepatology sections of JGH. Um, and uh, it's a very pleasant uh, task to interview Dr. Thompson. And uh, let me tell you, JGH Foundation is uh, separate than the journal, which is independent, is it? Correct. The foundation was set up um, about 20 years ago and and the funds for the foundation partly come because JGHF part owns the journal and partly from a investments of various types that, that, the, uh, that the foundation has put together over time. So that allows us to support gastroenterology and hepatology in the Asia Pacific region. Well Dr Thompson, exactly what do you mean by this support? There are three elements, education or research as well as yep. service, the, which is very dynamic. Yep. The, the main the main area we spend most money actually support supporting this meeting AP, APDW and uh, we we support the travel grants and we support the main lectures and we support a young clinical investigator program um, so um, and, and also a little bit of the young investigator awards and we do some of these things with APDWF um, but we also support uh, individual meetings uh, of various types around the Asia Pacific region and uh, we support a, a fellowship, uh, we support short, short term and long term fellowships in the Asia Pacific region. So we have a variety of different functions and um, we're delighted to support not only this meeting but other aspects of gastroenterology in this area. So what I gather from your uh, statement that essentially JGH Foundation at the moment is supporting continued medical education program and transferring or transmitting this new knowledges all around the Asia Pacific yeah. region. That is one of the major support. And second, what you suggested that you are supporting young gastroenterologists and uh, to help them to increase their attributes. Particularly at this meeting, we're supporting the young gastroenterologists with, uh, yeah. the, with the travel grants um, and the young investigator awards. Um, in, in other areas, we're supporting consensus, guideline, consensus and guideline meetings uh, that may occur from time to time. So we'll, we pay the, um, the, the various fees which are necessary to get people together to, to come up with guidelines or consensus statements on various problems relevant to, to this area. That's very interesting because this is itself, Asia Pacific is very variable regionally mm -hmm. with, with different approaches and different problems. Mm -hmm. And developing a consensus guideline is a challenge. And uh, yeah. I think you have been successful developing in many, many areas yes. such consensus guidelines. Uh, well, I think a couple of areas would be celiac disease, yeah. uh, inflammatory bowel disease in Asia, which is a, a, a problem, particularly with the thera therapeutic options, um, and uh, um, some, some dietary advice, some dietary sort of meetings. So they are three recent things that we've done in, 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 in relation to this area. That's fine. That's, mm. that's great, actually. These are necessary in this area. Uh, do you have any proposal or uh, a plan to increase uh, research support in this area where resource constrained countries are more prevalent? Yes. Our only support is with a, with a special fellowship with APAGE, which we part fund, um, which allows someone to go from this area to um, 
another another laboratory, mostly laboratory somewhere. That might be Japan or it might be South Korea or perhaps Australia or even the US. I don't I don't know whether we support the US, but anyway, they can go in, go to another laboratory in this area and develop their special skills that that might help them. But uh, maybe maybe we can expand this at some stage, but... Uh, well, Dr. Thompson, you must have realized um, uh, from your um, clinical experience that today clinicians and basic science are going in a parallel line. Sure. Yeah. And there is a lot of gap. And it's time that all of us, we understand that we need to close this gap. Sure. And JGH Foundations mm. is a leading organization yeah. with access to both places. Do well, you have any structured idea or program developing future to expose clinicians to the basic work? Because uh, that will be an amalgamation, which I call MD-PhD programs. Yeah, yeah. Or, well, uh, outside of that particular fellowship, no, but it's an area we're thinking about. Uh, how we can actually do this, and perhaps on a, a larger scale than we're doing it at the moment. Um, it's, it's a sort of a tough area because people need to go probably for at least a year to, yeah. to get a foundation in, 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 in a new skill. And um, of course, that if you're going to Japan or South Korea, that costs money. Uh, yeah. And so that we, we, we're thinking hard about how we can support that particular area. We're doing a little bit of support at the moment, but we should do more. That, that, that you is agree a, that you need to... That is a, an area that needs development. Yeah, we need... Um, right. one, one of the things we, we did a couple of days ago was to have a, a young clinical investigators program. So we had a day where, where we had a, a variety of young people, mostly, um, coming to a seminar, a one-day seminar, looking at epidemiology uh, and various other aspects of research. So we, we do this in a minor way, but we, if we could do it in a bigger way, that would be good. Oh, that's great. That's <laughs> what we need at this moment, what I think. Yeah. And uh, what uh, actually is the source of your exact funding? Do you think governments in this area should be tapped? Are, are you tapping governments for the resources? No. Our, our funds come from two areas. Um, the Journal of Gastroenterology and Hepatology That's does make right. a profit and, and we, we get half of that profit. And then over the years we've invested money um, in, in a foundation and that gives us an income as well. So um, that the, the money comes from these two sources basically now. So investments and also profits from the Journal of Gastroenterology and Hepatology. That's nice that it is self-financing and it is growing on its yeah. own finance. That is what we, we don't have to We don't have to ask for donations right. at the That's moment. Great. That's no, which great. Is, which is sort of good. And uh, do you have any plan to develop uh, any skill development for young people, particularly with uh, gastroenterology, knowing it is now a very advanced interventional mm. uh, subject? Yeah. Sometimes the particular fellowship has involved that. For example, a year or so ago, we had a person staying for in Japan for a year, learning some of these skills. Um, the, um, but we haven't, it depends on the applications. Um, so that we choose obviously the, the best applicant for, the, for these, um, and sometimes it'll be an endoscopy related uh, project or sometimes it'll be a basic science project of various types. So, right. so, so it, it varies. And does JGH Foundation also categorize various media? For example, if you see Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Ceylon, Myanmar, uh, there are so many countries and compare yes. them with Australia, yep. Japan, yeah, sure. right? some part of the China, yeah, yeah. right? They're yeah. absolutely different world. Yeah. We, we, so do you want any preferential, preferential hand-holding is necessary for particularly this area to come up in this area? Yeah. And this is a more populous area which yeah. needs it. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. Um, the, um, in the travel grants which we share with APDWF, um, there, there's a bias towards uh, less developed countries. Okay, so we, the travel grants will, we, we give about 70 at the moment, um, but if you if you put in an abstract and you come from Myanmar or Tibet, uh, that that's a, that's a plus. Okay, so we they, they get a they get a, a, some points if you like uh, in relation to this. That's great information, uh, Dr. Thompson. Mm -hmm. Well, young uh, man who is listening to this interview must realize JJ's foundation support the skill development, uh, the academic uh, capability capabilities, and on various aspects 
of gastroenterology in this uh, Asia Pacific area and particularly their focus is uh, towards the less developed area and I think there's a huge young population which is getting trained in gastroenterology in this part where they are needed and they need to enhance their skill as well as uh, intellectual attributes and JJ's foundation is there to hold your hand ladies and gentlemen uh, we must thank Dr. Thompson for providing this information indeed we deeply appreciate all this information uh, thank you very much Dr. Thompson thank you it's a pleasure <laughs>